Nin explains the rules of archery. The object of the game is to score more points than your opponent. Archery, sometimes referred to as Olympic or target archery, is a sport where you use a bow to shoot arrows into a target. The main two competition bows are a recurve bow, where the arms of the bow bend back, and a compound bow, where the bowstring is drawn using pulleys. There are separate competitions for both types of bow. Modern arrows are made of fiberglass, aluminium or carbon fiber. The target is segregated into colors and bands. The closer to the middle of the target, the higher the number of points are scored. In individual competition, one archer competes against another archer. The first competitor shoots an arrow into their target. The opponent then shoots their arrow into their target. The cycle alternates until both archers have shot three or six arrows each. This is known as an end. In team competition, three archers compete against another three archers. The first team all shoot an arrow each into the target. Then it's the opposing team's turn to do the same. The cycle alternates until all archers have shot two arrows each, which is six arrows in total. This is an end. Scores are added up and the person or team who has the most amount of points out of all the arrows wins the end. If both archers or both teams have the same number of points, the end is declared as a draw. Winning the required number of ends wins the contest. Rather confusingly, there are many different forms of archery, but the two being covered in this video are indoor and outdoor target archery. The rules are different for both, and I'll try and explain what those differences are now. Outdoor archery. The most popular version of target archery is outdoor archery, as contested in the Olympic Games. The target is a maximum 122 centimeters in diameter. The target is large, but so is the distance towards it. The standard Olympic distance is 70 meters, but competition distance can go anywhere up to 90 meters. When shooting outdoors, you have to adjust for wind, weather, and inclement temperature, as they all have an influence on the flight of your arrows. Indoor archery. When shooting indoors, you do not have to worry about the wind and weather affecting your arrows. And the distance to the target is much shorter, 18 or 25 meters. However, the targets themselves are smaller, much smaller. And there's lots of them. In indoor archery, you must shoot one arrow into each target in any order that you wish. In both forms of archery, if an arrow breaks or touches a line, the score is classed as the higher of the two scores. That's pretty much it, but there's a few other things that you'll need to know before playing or watching archery. For example, set system. Competitions that use the set system will score two set points for every end that you win, and one point for every draw. Six set points are required to win an individual contest, and five set points are required to win the team competition. Shooting order. Shooting last can be an advantage. The person or team with the lesser score always shoots first. If scores are tied, it reverts back to the original shooting order. Tiebreaker. In some competitions, there are no draws. In this case, they will use a tiebreaker system to decide who wins. The archer who shoots the most inner tens or tens is declared the winner. Alternatively, each competitor shoots one single arrow. The archer whose arrow lands closest to the middle of the target wins the contest. Time limit. In outdoor archery, the maximum permitted time to shoot an end of three arrows is two minutes, and four minutes for an end of six arrows. In indoor archery, you have 20 seconds to shoot each arrow. If you found this video at all helpful, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. It takes me ages to make one of these things, and good karma is very much appreciated. Be sure to follow me on Twitter also, but in the meantime, enjoy archery.